Hello everyone, welcome. This video is going to be demonstrating a poor man's spark gap. Uh, we've seen this set up before where I'm extracting um, power to charge this capacitor um, coming from earth in this line here. It goes to the uh, one side of the AC leads on a full wave, full wave bridge rectifier. Um, the other side of the AC has only the negative of a DC power supply. You can see the positive there is just bare and I've crimped that over on itself so it's not actually connected to anything. And you can see in my other videos that does not use power however it does um, allow for the extraction of power uh, from the oscillations on the grid on the mains system um, and I have shown on the meter before that that does not consume power to achieve that and what I'm using here as the cap dump is a neon bulb um, and I'm excluding the resistor there you can see the resistor there at the back there and I've tapped on with a yellow lead before the resistor so every time that flashes if we look at the uh, capacitor voltage there 80 six volts uh, I'll try and get both in shot so that we can watch the discharge and so that is taking power uh, taking power from the ground using the oscillations of the mains system and it is not draining power from the mains because it is an incomplete circuit and as I stated before there is no energy coming through this single negative line okay which is going to an isolated 12 volt transformer so the power does not come from there but this arrangement, this circuit arrangement, uses the oscillations that are seen on one half of this, and it uses those oscillations to increase the charge on the capacitor, and when that reaches 87 volts, 89 uh, volts, then that discharges through the neon now that is probably the cheapest cap dump you can get those neons are very very cheap i just purchased i think it was 50 for like under 10 dollars australian so not going to break the piggy bank there there's not a lot of energy being transferred if you calculate how much energy is in the capacitor for it to discharge at that point once it reaches the breakdown voltage of 89 volts which we just saw all right so that, that will continue to repeat that process indefinitely whilst not costing anything from the mains um, other than the fact that Having a transformer uh, not being utilized, so not transferring current, still draws around about 0.2 of a watt. So this demonstration is just to show you that, that that's functional. And so that capacitor value is not ideal. And what you would be aiming for is a capacitor that allows for that constant discharge 
I'm using that one just to show uh, the example. So there's a um, a clear and obvious build up to a breakdown voltage at which point the discharge occurs. So uh, you obviously need it to be more frequent than I think it's around about 12 seconds with this capacitor. So get the right capacitor and you'll have a more efficient discharge. Uh, so there's some anomalies. Well, some people will probably say, well, that's to be expected. But um, so if I take this white lead here, which is connected to the earth connection of the AC side of the full wave bridge rectifier, and I connect that to the positive. This is a 3.2 volt uh, green LED. And I connect that on to the positive side and we will get a, an illuminated LED. Put it on the negative side. We don't get the illuminated LED. And that's because of polarization. Uh, and so, if I switch that around, and so now it's the other side. So if I put it on the negative side, that light will illuminate. If I put it back on the positive side, it doesn't. So now the one thing I noticed, which was interesting, uh, from the AC side, there's a continual AC uh, voltage there so I can put it that way and I can flip it around well I can try <laughs> flip it around and it works that way too so there is a constant AC field across the AC terminals of this and those AC terminals are made up of again the negative from the transformer and the earth so now it is picking up the mains even though there's only one wire here the mains is still able to penetrate through and I'll attempt to show you that on the oscilloscope and so if I remove that probe from there and then we move that around in different positions we can see we get different voltages on different spots so that's 34 volts And if we go, super hard to do this with one hand. If I remove both those term, those leads and attempt to get both AC sides, we can see there that we have, hmm, if I put that meter back on, And it should settle out around about 48 hertz. And being where I am in Australia, I've got 50 hertz system. So there we go. There's 49 hertz. All right, and we can see the waveform. And it's around about 5, 6 volts constantly across those two terminals there. And that's where I was measuring that. So on the both AC sides. So there's a constant power that can be attained, a constant energy that can be extracted. Um, and it's debatable as to whether you're paying for it. So uh, I noticed that you can get the same effect 
when using the earth and a capacitor um, in the air and you'll get you know an even higher voltage as well you refer to one of my other videos there um, showing that so I don't know yeah that's probably the cheapest cap dump you'd find so uh, please share like subscribe let me know what you think one more discharge there we go thanks for watching people have a nice day